Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to JM Motors Unlimited. And today I want to show y'all a new project three-wheeler I have. I just got it yesterday. And I've pressure washed it and cleaned it up a little bit. But before I did too much with it, I wanted to show y'all what I got. And what it looks like and kind of what kind of shape it's in. So stay tuned to see what I got. So this is my new bike. It's a Honda 185S. Exact same as my first 185s here, and I'm not sure what year it is because it's missing a little sticker, and the guy I got it from didn't know. But it's in decent shape. It's rough. It doesn't run, but it's definitely fixable. So I'm gonna show y'all some of the things that it needs to be fixed and in working order, and all the stuff I intend on doing it in the long run. So, the first thing is getting it running, which first thing I'm going to do is check the spark. Because I have a feeling it doesn't have any, any fire. Because this wire right here is broke. And this little wiring harness goes from the stator to the coil. And also, just looking at it, the CDI is out of the little boot. So it looks like somebody's messed with it and like trying to get it fixed. So, so just right off the bat, I'm assuming it doesn't have spark, which shouldn't be too hard to fix. And the carburetor is going to need to be cleaned, but the choke is free on the carburetor and the slide is free. So that tells me that the carburetor is going to most likely be good. And when we got there to, pick, to look at it, it had gas in the tank. It still has gas in the tank, some old stale gas. And the valve is off. So that's a good thing. Maybe not too much of it will be in a carburetor. And this recoil is missing the handle. It's got a wrench electrical tape to it. But it's missing the uh, handle. And it doesn't always catch when you pull the rope out. And it doesn't suck the rope back in good. So you got to kind of mess with it to get it sucked the rope back in. And needs a new front tire, and it'll eventually need new rear tires. But the rear tires have good tread, and only a little bit of dry rot. So I'm probably not even going to change them for a while. I'll probably just repaint the rims. And it's got a set of fork extensions on it, so I'm happy about that. And if you look at it close from the front, it's kind of hard to tell, but this bar on this right side when you're sitting on the bike the left from here but the bar is bent down a little bit it's kind of hard to tell you got to look real close but it's bent down a little bit so that's saying it's obviously been rolled which i don't know of any three-wheeler that hasn't been rolled except for one that's just been putted around in a yard or something but it's got this chain guard on here the chain cover but this little, whatever you call this piece, the little shield, has worn. It got The cover got bent and it wore through the cover on the bottom here. So the cover may or may not be any good. But I don't see any rust on the exhaust at all, which is a good thing. Still got the tail light that looks like it's in really good shape. So I may put that on my 185 for a while till I get this one running because I've been wanting to get a tail light for that one it's missing it and the, the axle bearings seem tight this hub is really loose can't really tell on camera I'll show you I'll pick it up and show you but this hub is really loose so I'm hoping the splines aren't messed up but the axle bearings feel tight and the front wheel bearings feel tight and pulling it over it feels like it's got good compression and it's got oil in the crankcase, so that's a good sign. But the guy said that it ran good. It was at his deer camp, and he used it a lot. But it just got to sitting up, and didn't know, he didn't know how to work on it. And it just been sitting up and don't run no more. But I'm going to get it all fixed and show you how I do it and what I ended up having to do to it to get it all 
run it again. Not in this video, but I'll make more videos about it. But that's about it for now. I haven't really seen too much else on it. The I know the boot between the carburetor and the airbox is split, so I'm going to have to get a new boot. I might actually have one, but I'm not sure. And this got wire holding up the brake lever because the spring and cable are messed up. And the uh, front brake cable is actually free. So that's a really good thing. They got the cable going to the wrong lever though. This lever broke, it looks like. And they just ran the cable to this lever. But that ain't right. And somebody painted all the plastics and the fork and the gas tank. And they got a little overspray on the frame and on a little bit on the engine and on the wires and stuff. But not too big of a deal. I'm going to end up restoring it one day and repainting the frame. But not right now. I'm just focused on getting it running and riding for now. But eventually I am going to take it all the way down and restore it like I'm doing the 250SX and the 200S right now. But that's about it right now. So I'll give y'all up, make another video giving y'all update whenever I get it running better, get, or get it running, and kind of get it looking a little better, and show you what all I've done to it, and some more stuff I need to do to it. And I also have a metal gas tank that'll fit on it, so I'll probably put that on here, make it look a lot better. And I pressure washed these plastics, and it got most of the paint off. But there's some spots where it's uh, still stuck. But the plastics aren't too bad. They got kind of... Can't really see it. There you go. Kind of little sun cracks and stuff. You can see it better on the SX front fender. All the little sun cracks and stuff and fading. But these plastics aren't too bad. The front fender doesn't really have any cracks. But, I'm probably not going to change them or do anything with them right now. But, after I get it running and stuff, I'll be riding it and getting it muddy and washing it. So, every, just every time I wash it, I just blow a little bit more of the paint off and eventually, in theory, eventually it'll all be gone. Hopefully it'll work. But, but the only other thing I found on the plastics is this crack right here, which isn't too bad. Probably just caught a viner somebody's foot or something and cracked it but it's definitely fixable so i'm gonna get to work on it and try to get it fixed and i'll make videos showing you how i do it and what ends up happening with it so you can subscribe to my youtube channel for more information on this bike and my other three wheelers and my truck restoration and some old tractors and stuff I'm working on. So, it's JM Motors Unlimited. You can click the little uh, profile picture below this video. And it'll take you right to it. And you can see my other videos. And what I do. And please consider subscribing to help me out a little bit. And leave a like. And uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you want to see. And what you want to see more of, whether it's bike stuff or truck stuff or tractor stuff or any other stuff. And uh, please leave me a like and if you leave me a unlike, a thumbs down, please leave me a comment and tell me what you didn't like about the video. And I'll try, that'll help me to know what I can improve about my videos. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.